All cool. right, good afternoon. Welcome to Regan Rides in the Garage. Uh, something a little different, something a little new for the channel. Um, we're going to start off with a good old unboxing. New gear. Um, we had this parcel turn up. Uh, it took about 10 days to get here from ordering. Um, so it's some new camp gear. New camp gear. So. Uh, found this company online. I think you've seen them advertised a couple They've of places. They've been advertised everywhere on social media. Yes. Um, so let's have a look, see what we've got in here. Company name is Kilos Gear. Yes. So, number one. Two new sleeping mats. Sleeping mats. Uh, what have we been currently using? So we're using, at the moment, Cedar Summit, uh, the Comfort Light sleeping mats, which are an R rating of 3.7. They are pretty lightweight. They're only just on 700 grams. We've got a regular and a large, uh, just over two metres long, and quite a thin mattress. They're nice and warm. They're comfortable. They are noisy, though. They're yeah. crinkly. <laughs> Yes, uh, so these are a sleeping pad with a pillow, um, $140, a bit of an increase in weight, they're up to 950 grams each, little bit bigger pack size, uh, but they do uh, inflate up to 10 centimetres, so they're quite a bit thicker. Uh, the two actually do uh, button, button, button together, together as well, so we do have two singles. They've got an R value of four, so pretty similar to what we're using now. And they're uh, a 190 and uh, they're 66 centimetres wide. So two of them should be pretty good. They inflate with a foot pump. It's all built in. They've got like a, a pump in them, which is a bit different. The Cedar Summit have just got the air bag, the air sack that you blow up with them. So be interesting to see how they go with the inflation, but should be a lot more comfortable to sleep on. All right, next in the bag What else is, we got? Oh, the mystery parcel. The mystery parcel. This is a camp table come windshield yep. um, for putting around your camp stove, things like that. Uh, currently, we have nothing, nothing for a camp table. So no. this is a bit of a luxury, I suppose. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. Uh, and then next, we've got a couple of new... Kilos Gear Camp Chairs. This is the... Just the chair 2.0, outdoor chair. Yeah, so it's not the high back or anything. It's just their standard size chair. Yep. Um, and we've got two, two of, those, of those, one each of those. Yeah, so at the moment we're using a um, Kathmandu chair, which is like a festival type chair, low, super lightweight hiking chair. Uh, it weighs about 800 grams. It's quite small, but it's also very low to the ground uh, and it's got very small legs. They're on a single swivel point. Um, so they do tend to rock around a little bit. They're comfortable though. They are comfortable. Once you're in them, you don't want to get out, hmm. um, but they're also quite a long way up to get out of. So these ones are uh, 980 grams, so nearly a kilo, uh, but they are rated for up to 150 kilos in weight. They've also got the solid bar across the bottom and the two legs, uh, and they are a mesh fabric, or they've got a breathable mesh in them. Just an alloy, pretty lightweight, really. Um, and they do have slightly bigger disc feet on them. The Kathmandu's that we're using at the moment have got very small, I think they some of them even like, they tend to just drop into easy. the ground yeah. easily. Yep. So these have got much bigger feet. So. Uh -huh. Where do you want to start? Do you want to have a play with the table? Because oh. I was just going to cover off on that as well. So the table is made from the same framing as the, or very similar material to the chairs. Oh, it's in a nice little bag. Nice little bag. Um, Got some instructions on the bag, tells you how to, how to use it. How to use it. Uh, so the folded sizes of it, it's 35 by 14 by three. So the hope is that we'll just be able to slide it in the side of one of our panniers on the bike and it should just fit quite nicely. Oh, it's compact. Is that it? It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it clips together in here like that. Um, and it weighs 
under half a kilo, so 440 grams. These just pop off here. So if you wanted to use it as a windshield, you could leave it like so, put your stove in the middle, oh, keep cool. the wind away. Pretty straightforward. And then these here just clip off. Ah, yes. Like so, and then become... We've been pretty lucky. A lot of the places we camp have tables, but it's just nice to have just in case there's, you know, a wild camp somewhere where we can't always find a picnic table. And we've then got somewhere to pop our cooker, prep a little bit of food on. I do like to cook occasionally. There we go. Oh, that'll be all right. It'll hold a drink. Pretty sturdy. Cool. I like it. And yeah, not a bad little, the bag's a little bit padded too. Packs so. down nice and uh, yeah. the, the whole thing's made of alloy, so yep. you could put your cooker on it, no problem, I would say. Yeah. Um, new camp table. There Happy. we go. I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, all right, I'll pop that down there. Are uh, you going to... Camp chair. Camp chair. Let's, Let's set one up. put camp chair together. All right. Come with their own little bag. Got, uh, Instructions. Yep. Do you need the instructions? Spare foot. Nice. That's cool. First impressions, pretty good quality. Oh, nice it's a bit stitching. heavier duty than yep. what we're using now, for sure. Mm, frame comes with a, a Velcro strap to keep it all nice and together. Pretty straightforward. And then this. Oh. Oh, I see. They clip through. Oh, I see what they mean about the feet. They're quite good. There we go. Top first, eh? Sure. Oh, it's got little tabs on it to pull it. That's helpful. Yeah. Oh, it's a good pocket. Nice firm fit, but oh, uh, and good mesh. Pretty good, and the little strap here at the bottom. Oh, is somewhere for to put the bag. Strapping your bag on the bottom keeps it nice and safe. That's not bad. Pocket on this side. Nice mesh, well up off the ground. <laughs> oh, that should be good. Look for a uh, user review uh, <laughs> in the coming weeks on this one. Fingers crossed, we'll get All away right. camping really soon. I'm gonna open one of these. Uh, loosely, yeah, let's let's just have a quick quick look. We might, um, Again. We might go away and pump one up and come back. There'll be a review Ooh, on those. Nice bag, nice loose fit, looks like, you know, because things never go back in the bag the way they come. A couple of nice little straps to hold it oh, all yeah. contained. Just a pile of, it's like, like Christmas. Feels good, quality's quite nice. Still crinkly. Um, there's your foot pump. Oh, I see, yep. So. Roll out, open and then just start stepping on it. i oh, make sure that's closed. Well, what I might do, because you don't need to see me pump this thing up, <laughs> we'll go and pump it up and we'll come back. The magic of the internet, ta-da! We have a sleeping mat. pumped up. Um, now, gotta say, not really a fan of the foot pump. Um, it's- Slow. Pretty slow. Uh, I did cheat and we used a, a blow-up bag similar to what you use on the Cedar Summits. The one we had fitted the um, the thing here, and you just fill the bag with air, roll it up. Uh, I don't know, probably a dozen, dozen or fifteen fills of the bag, and the thing was up. Um, feels good. Uh, it's got these little domes on the side, um, so we can actually clip the two mattresses together so they don't move around. Um, yep. Yeah. So got I guess uh, it'll all it'll all come out after we've had the first trip on them. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe next weekend. Maybe next weekend, yep.
that's the plan. So yeah. And, um, and that's it until we're uh, until we're back from the trip, and we'll give you a bit of a rundown on on this new gear. Thoughts on how it feels to sleep on. Mm. I haven't sold the old stuff yet, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>